Hey everybody, so uh, my name is Matt Marr and uh, I'm a worship leader. Hi. Yeah, yeah. And I'm here, we're on the Rock and Worship Roadshow. I'm here with Matt and Steve from Jars of Clay. Yes, you are. Yeah. Yes. And uh, so um, a lot of people don't know this or, or maybe don't realize this, but um, before Jars of Clay was Jars of Clay, um, you guys were all part of a worship team at Greenville College, yeah. right? Yeah, there was, a, there was a group of us that, um, well, they had, they had ministry bands that would go tour to, you know, uh, churches and, yeah. you know, play some songs and talk. And it, yeah, it was, it, was, uh, it was great. And then, you know, like most Christian liberal arts schools, they had uh, chapels in the mornings, and so we would lead some songs there, too. So, yeah, we, we all cut our teeth in youth group, for sure. <laughs> yeah, yeah so, for me, for me, it was, that was where I learned how to play guitar, really. Really? Was, yeah, leading songs. And, and you had no idea that, that uh, a strumming pattern that you guys did, you know, <laughs> yeah. would probably influence worship music so much. Yeah. What, what, what was the name you guys the, came up with? Whip it a thwack it a. Oh, that, that's a, that's a fantastic yeah. name. Yeah. White guys playing <laughs> strumming really fast. Yeah. It has had a profound effect. Yeah, well, but yeah. speaking of worship, you guys just released a, 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 a new album called The Shelter, hmm. which is yeah. really kind of your gift to the church in terms of being an offering sort of songs that are kind of more congregationally you know in focus so maybe just talk about it a little bit yeah yeah, yeah the shelter was really a it was a labor of love for us it really came the, the inspiration came with some something that steve brought to the band um yeah 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 so uh, an irish poet friend uh gave us these words that say uh it is in the shelter of each other that people live and um you know the Irish just have a way of words that way, and and, yeah. and that concept just it spoke it, it spoke to the last three, four, five years of our lives together, and just our lives outside of the band and, and our communities at home, and how you know we are wounded healers, as Henry Nouwen says, you mm -hmm. know, and we are those that are seeking refuge, and also those that are uh, equipped to provide refuge for others, and um, and that maybe in our our worship experience at our church um, there was an absence of experiencing each other as we worshiped God. You know, it was more of a, a vertical experience and not a, a horizontal one in terms yeah. of kind of looking around and singing uh, you know, those songs because we are the embodiment that you know, uh, St. Teresa of Avila you know, says, you know, uh, Christ has no hands on, yeah. on earth but yours. And so that idea of we embody Jesus to each other. Yeah. And, and we thought that's a piece that I think has made some of our worship experience just missing something and and so we wrote the shelter thinking what if there were songs we could sing and worship that we could look around and make eye contact with people mm. and say you know i'm i'm this for you or i i need this from you as unto god you yeah know, or, or, I, or i give this to you as unto god and, um that's that's kind of where it was born yeah. yeah 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 that was a that was that was really it for us i mean just a, that desire to 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 bring that language that we're, we're really bound up together, yeah. our stories are bound up together, and and what God is doing, He's al He's almost always doing through His people, yeah. and um, and just uh, wanted songs that really reminded us of that truth. Mm -hmm. um, you know, when we pray to God and ask Him for His mercy or for His forgiveness or what whatever, we're, we're, what we're often the way He's often answering us is through other people, through, yeah. through yeah. the body and yeah. through yeah. other people. Yeah. And so yeah. that was that was the. Um, that was the piece. Yeah. What's cool about it too is that you guys in the recording, you involved a lot of people who mm. are you know somewhat known in the worship community. Maybe, yeah. maybe typically as writers, you know, um, Michael Gunger yeah, from yeah, Gunger yeah. sang on it. Yeah. Audrey Assad sure. sang well, on it. Story, Lord, you, you, we yeah. you. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah. Well, yeah, Mike Donahue, yeah. David well, we, Crowder. Yeah. We needed, we needed some. I mean, again, I. I <laughs> Earlier I talked about, you know, you don't go to McDonald's to order a barbecue sandwich. <laughs> but actually you do. You get a, Mc, you get a McRib. Occasionally. And then, occasionally, but not very often. So we knew when people thought of jars of clay, they wouldn't think of this. Yeah. So we thought, you know, there's a way to collaborate and get other artists singing along with us. Yeah. That it, it kind of says, it embodies further this idea of community. You know, so yeah. we involve the music community. Yeah, yeah, that was a big piece for us too. I mean, we, if, if the record was going to be about the, you know, the priesthood of believers and about us as a... As a, as a collective, is what God is doing to for His people. The music somehow had to had to reflect that, and so I think for us it was a big challenge. You know, we've we've always written very kind of inter internally. We write all the music together. We produce it. We play. You know, the majority of what's on the records, and so it was that was kind of the big creative mm. challenge for us was to we collaborated collaborated on the writing, and then as we got into the singing, we really knew that we wanted the record to 
to um, have a communal voice, and we were and we were really humbled and blown away by the by people's willingness to participate yeah. in it. Oh you know, yeah, because uh, yeah. it really, um, you know, it was a, like I said, it was a it was a labor of love for us, and we and, and we know what it's like to be asked to be you know to to participate in someone else's project. And it's an inconvenience. Some, sometimes, it, yeah, <laughs> yeah, sometimes it's you know. <laughs> So, yeah, sometimes it's just it's just yeah, yeah kind of like Ugh, okay. So, yeah. All right, so we send me the song. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We were just really encouraged. Not only did people that they would say yes, but just that the extent that people went to really yeah, yeah, to really give their authentic voice to the project. Well, they're so. I mean they're really they're really great songs for the church. And you guys have you have instructional videos on your website, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah, it's yeah. it's jarsatclay.com slash. Uh, I think there's a tab for worship leaders. It says uh, on the on the actual website. Yeah, Perfect. Yeah. So worship leaders, you go to jarsatclay.com. There's a little tab, and you can have videos. Probably with Steve showing you yeah. the whip it a thwack it a for yeah. Yeah. the the I brand new songs. I actually mentioned there's a C7 chord that I said was typically only performed by bearded men in the 70s, <laughs> <laughs> and, and I, I give you a little bit of history behind that chord. Yeah, and, uh, so it's a little musicology as well. Yeah, so uh, yeah. awesome. Yeah. And 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 you can get the songbook there, and the C is available. And it's also available yeah. on iTunes. Tunes, Amazon, yeah, your absolutely. local Christian bookstore, yeah. yep. the back of a pickup truck yeah, somewhere. Pickup truck. <laughs> <laughs> you see it's on the road. Just, just call me, I'll get you one. <laughs> so go, go to jarsofclay.com and check it out. Worshippers.